Hi everyone, here's the October update. I've had a bonfire a few days ago. I've spread the ash around and I've also collected up a bucket of ash for uh, future use on the plants. Here's the white buddleia. It's, it's uh, had a little bit of quite a lot of vigorous growth around the uh, more vigorous parts of the plant, but it's now October, late October, so it's not that all these buddleias are not going to grow much, but I've given them all a little bit of ash mixed with soil, sand, a little bit of sand, a little bit of all the other nutri uh, nutrients I've got. Here's this big one that I planted the year late the year before. Uh, through here I've got all the propagators open, especially today. These ones I decided to open anyway because I wanted to let a lot of the moisture out because I noticed some of these hebes have got yellow leaf at the bottom. Um, um, I've, yeah, I've taken, as you can see, I've taken loads of new cuttings. I've taken these air cuttings off the tree. I'm not too bothered if these don't make it though because, well, I, I have got two actual cuttings that I know will hopefully make it. I mean, it'd be nice if these grow, but I, I didn't see much roots on these. There was a little bit, but yeah, yeah, I think it was too soon, but it doesn't matter. I'll get some eventually anyway. But um, I actually threw these hebe cuttings away and, found, and, and noticed that they were not quite dead, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll, so I've repotted them up in this special mixture of ash, a uh, little bit of sand, a little bit of compost, a little bit of uh, other nutrient things I've got in the shed, volcanic rock dust, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, these row on the right are purple hebes well, from well, October 23rd and the ones on the left are all July the, the first the second of July ones these are all second of July the original ones I had in the in the gym um, so I put a little bit of zip uh, fish blood and bone and mixed with sand just a little bit to wash down because that'll give nitrate put nitrates back in the soil. Nitrogen, I think nitrogen's the other possible reason why there's yellow leaf. These are th these four the August 23rd cuttings and some new October 23rd ones. So yeah that's three waves of hebes now that I've got. And the one one died, the one that was from the first wave, see there it's gone. There's no way that's coming back, unfortunately, but uh, I kind of expected that one. Uh, this is the white phlox now. These cuttings I took on the 11th of October, and these are all in July 17th. These are uh, two. Of, these are purple phlox from 17th of July, same or 27th of July. All of them, as well, are purple phlox that have taken. Um, See the leaves have gone a very sort of dark red um, and even a touch of green there so they have probably rooted or trying to root so they might make it. There's a little bit of green there coming out the bottom. There's the blossom cuttings. Here I've got hydrangeas. Now with these hydrangeas I put, I got some tea bags and I split them out open and got all the contents and I mixed that in the soil there to try and get it acidic so I might get a blue hydrangea from this and uh, I just left this one as it was and with this one up here I put lots of ash f around in the soil because ash definitely does have an alkalizing effect so this will probably be a very red hydrangea this one may be pink or maybe even purple sort of color I'm not sure because there's a little bit of both of these tea bags as well. Tea bags, yeah, nice and blue. Anyway, I got some horse chestnut uh, tree, proper big tree. These are from, and there's a might be a little bit of growth there. And these are acorns. These are acorn. Uh, that one there looks like it's growing from the big oak tree in Warnham. Um, and in here, you can see the. Um, this is the ice bush. 
a little bit of growth, there's a little bit of flower growth there possibly, or there's, there's growth lower down. You can see some there. There's a buddleia that I found growing in the path, so I'll get him. Purple phlox from the 16th of October. All these are the same purple phlox. These are a day older up here. See I ran out of pots and so I started using all different terracotta type pots. I've still got a few more of them but I decided I, I got these so I just cut these long pots up and squeezed them in here. And there we are. I've also got water down there to that so that'll evaporate and keep this lot hydrated so it won't they won't dry out in the box here. And there we are, that's that update.